waking up in the Cayman Islands. We both woke up at like 20 past six this morning, so I think we're still a bit jet lagged, but I feel way more alive than yesterday. I just felt like a walking zombie. I've tried a new toner on my hair and it's got rid of that grassy tone. I'm super happy about that. First thing first, I'm, we're gonna head to the gym, especially after like such a long flight yesterday. I just can't wait to move. Um, I feel like quite swollen. I always feel quite swollen after like a long haul flight and then just get like the blood flow going again. So Mason's got a rugby match towards the end of this week. So some of the Jamaican players are arriving tomorrow. So he's going to be training with them quite a lot. So I think I'll be like on my own for quite a few bits of this holiday, which is cool. I can just like explore and just chill out and stuff. But with this being like such a last minute trip, I've just been like trying to find out what there is to do here. And there's so much like, there's um, Stingway City, which is this place where there's just like loads of friendly stingways that you can go and swim with there's a wild turtle beach too which i want to get over to and just see what else there is here but as we've got an apartment it means that i can sort of keep on top of my diet and stuff so i'm going to eat relatively clean and as well i feel like in the heat my appetite isn't as big anyway so it's quite handy and i'm actually quite thankful we're in an apartment this time it's going to be a chilled day and um, me and mace are just going to go to the gym then probably like to a beach and just explore the island a bit we're not going to do anything too hectic just been thinking about like, this month's going to be crazy busy like it's my birthday on the 14th of July I graduate on the 16th and then we might be going away on the 19th as well so it's just all hell all, all go at the moment so yeah I'll just take you guys with me gym outfit of the day a do you even set I'm gonna link a discount link if you do like this set I'm just having my morning coffee out here the beach is just down that way through there looks like such a nice and clear day so I'm just cooking some breakfast. I picked up some ready break from the supermarket yesterday and also I found some sugar-free pancake syrup. We, we got this um, chocolate one, but it literally just tasted like chemicals. It was not nice. Coffee as well. So I got yesterday two fat-free milk, 100% lactose-free. I'm so glad I remembered to bring this resistance band because I usually always forget it when I go places. So we found this gym which is literally a five minute walk. We did just drive. And there's an outdoor gym as well. It just seems like, what a coincidence. We can use it first. <laughs> <laughs> if we can use it that is. It might just be residence only. Claws out. Obviously, I didn't have time before we came over to get these nails sorted, and I'm literally missing two. So, oh, praise the Lord! The new nails. Look at that water. So, we've got to the beach. So 
this menu looks so good. I've just ordered the chicken grill bow with coconut rice, marinated kale, chickpeas, sweet potato sauce, and really nice looking cocktails, rum punch. Ooh. <laughs> I wish I could snooze as easy as this one. Sleep, aren't you? So, uh... There is just something, isn't there, about being by the beach. Put all your freckles. Walking back to the room. Welcome to the room. Call it all yacht club and have a nice fish curry. So we just had a bit to eat. I've, I've had like a funny stomach today, so I felt a bit sick. But we've just been exploring really since we went to the gym this morning. I think I'm a little bit jet lagged actually. It's UK is six hours behind and I feel so sleepy right now. Oh, it's so pretty. I was kind of expecting it to be like the Seychelles and it's completely different. Like it's quite Americanized in comparison. And it's bigger than I expected to. We're literally right at the end of the island. Like right on the corner. Houses here are like American home style. So this must be like some meeting point. Like we passed or something. Nice chill vibe. It's Sunday, so I think it's going to be like where all the locals just meet. Oh my god, it's coming to me. Oh! Heading back to the apartment. I think it's gonna storm again actually. I'm one of these weird people. I love storms. I love the sound of the rain and I find it so therapeutic. We are going to the supermarket to pick up some more supplies because Olivia's eating them. Food we went to the supermarket last night. If you saw my last vlog, you'll have seen we went to the supermarket yesterday, but we were that tired, like, we just didn't really get anything to be honest. We just got a bit of milk, eggs, some really, oh my goodness me, ridiculously nice coconut bread. Not so long since we saw a car, like, overturned. Really hope the person was okay. Um, there wasn't anyone in there, obviously, but there was, like, police at the scene. And then, just as we were pulling, like, up earlier on, when we got to run point this cut like this guy in a car literally tried to like tried to hit us i don't really know why and then it makes me to swerve but it was one of the moments where it was like slow motion i was like oh he's definitely gonna hit us here but it didn't so that was a bit crazy another supermarket and i think this is like a costco version I steer clear away from this section that is all the sweets i think wow i've never seen these before churro styled oh my god Oh my goodness me, that is the biggest box of cereal I've ever seen in my life. Like a, a large box of churros. This really reminds me of America, like, uh, you would never see these in the UK. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to do as many holiday vlogs as I can, so I'll see you guys in the next one.